Ooh, what's going on, on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So here's some stuff. But besides, you see some hair growth. I let the hair grow out a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm sitting inside. We're chilling out. Girls doing some some painting in the kitchen. We're doing some doing some stuff over, and it starts getting windy. Looks like it's gonna rain. And she just painted a few things and left them in the yard to dry. Uh, so while in the yard, you can see all the leaves everywhere. While they were in the yard drying, she says, hey, can you go get them? I he go, yeah, yeah. Just as I stand up and go to go out, I watch the wind just come at us, man. Just crazy come at us. And uh, I'm like, well, well, that's not good. All of a sudden, I see leaves and everything shooting across the land like 100 miles an hour, just coming straight through. I go out on the porch, and just as I go out on the porch, I got a 300-pound limb falls right next to me out of that guy right <laughs> big sycamore limb just falls you can see up on the roof you could still see some leaves and stuff and put a little dent in the corner um and i'm gonna show you what else happened but uh crash right next to me like, oh sh snickers so uh so i try to close the door it's, the wind is just coming at us like crazy we got a nice micro burst come through you can see a one of the fence panels came down here, had two now kind of looking disheveled there. So I got to try and get all this fixed up here, man. But this is, this is nothing. This is losing a, oh, it broke right there. So losing a couple fence pieces, that's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whew. All right. So yeah, I had to just pick this one up for now. I'll have to pick those two up later. But um, I don't know if I can get through over here. This is my backyard. Right through my, right through my fence is the Veterans Cemetery. And I found this house when it was for sale because I came to visit my grandfather's stone, which is right there. And I looked out and I saw that. All right, so it looks like the fence is worse than I thought. This piece right here, that piece right there, it literally, nothing hit it. The wind blew the fence pieces off of their stakes. And... Uh, blew them completely out of sorts this is the coyotes are gonna have fun tonight because last night they were out here like crazy every now and then we got a bobcat or some coyotes running through here right here is the, the home of heroes everybody veteran cemetery that's the home of heroes understand that all right so i'm gonna see if i can open up my gate and I can. <laughs> I'm going to show you why I was wondering if I could or not. As I was standing there, as that branch came down right next to me, uh, and I I almost got smushed. It got a thorn in my leg. Um, I watched 100% of the time. The whole thing happened. I watched. Yep. <laughs> Remember that time? I had a tree fall down the yard, and it took forever. I had to clean it up, and it, it crushed my trampoline. Right underneath this tree is the new trampoline. I put up a new trampoline and this tree falls. Guess what I'm not putting up anymore? No more trampolines. Every time I put one up, trees fall on them. All right, so we're gonna come over here and you can see how this piece is pulled away, the fence, and you can see how it bows right here. I don't know if you can make that out, but it kind of goes like that. That's because the tree on the other side fell down so you can see this this is just all over wobbly look at that right that's not connected to anything anymore um that right there is a fallen tree right completely missed all this which is good but here's a trampoline there's a tree on it so it's probably not good for jumping anymore Oh, dog, there goes another one. So we lose another trampoline. So I watched that tree fall with my own eyes. Watched the whole thing happen. What I didn't realize, and you remember, that's the one that fell before. And the only part that was left of it, besides what I use over at the, uh, at the stump when we do videos is, okay, that's all that's left is that log. So now I have, look at how many came down here. Look at how many, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little how many trees fell down investigation here. Let me step over this crap. Okay, it's one tree, but it was split into three trees. So here's the big part. 
and look at this one two three and these two right here by themselves are huge trees that one's like a regular size medium tree but you can see what's going on in here there were some hollow par parts and if it wasn't hollow before well it's hollow now it just ripped out of there but i'm guessing all the dark spots here means that wasn't 100 percent healthy so that could have led to you know why that happened but holy mackerel look at this carnage carnage at casa de bad so let's walk through all this jazz and oh there's there's so much there's so it was a microburst that came through and if you guys don't live in areas where there's microbursts, let me explain to you what that is it's not a hurricane it's not a tornado it's a little bit of both wrapped up in a tiny little package and uh that's what we had it was just like a quick ba boom just came through in and out up and gone and it took this tree too it split it right in half there and you see this guy laying down right here in the yard now this sucks this is no good but it's gonna be good for knife reviews because i got a lot of stuff to whack at now and you can see just how much this thing came my wheelbarrow well that's no good anymore you can see the bottom's all cracked so it looks like that shot the tree fell on it somehow it missed that rest of the fence which i'm pretty happy about because that would have stunk so let's see what else it did let's take a look a gander the hoop came down came really close to uh, crushing the green jeep just missed it we got some branches here we got some branches there uh, the one that almost crushed me to death was right over here we got these branches here we got some of the fight equipment um then we got all this down here and all these pieces right here you see that in the ground right in front of where they're standing that came from up there right so that flew a pretty far away it bounced off the roof try to get my finger uh let me try and get my finger right where it is i can't i can't get my finger up there right there there we go you can see that little dent right there that's where it bounced off the roof this one right here this big guy right there that's the one that almost crushed me that landed right next to me literally right next to me it broke my wheelbarrow but it didn't get me so now we got this one and you can see we'll try and move you all around here you can see this is no tiny piece that is a huge huge chunk of tree right there so yeah the cable box blew open the cable box in we got pieces in there that always blows open though every time the woodpeckers come and jam on the house they open that too i hate them woodpeckers man every time i hear them knocking i come out with a with a rifle to try and get them but they fly away when they hear the door open so i got more stuff down here more stuff down here that fell we've got this big old piece right here in the middle of the driveway i'm gonna have to get that one out now because you know we can't even get in and out of the driveway at this point look at this thing it's just oh it's up on the cable ah uh, man all right so i need to cut that because it's literally leaning on the cable unless i can lift it off uh, let's see oh, oh i'm using my left arm that's not good for my shoulder all right so we saved the cable from falling now i can watch family guy and not worry about it all right so use my foot to get this out of here because it's a d-bad foot i can't believe how much absolute carnage carnage i mean it's swept all across this parking lot over here just in a matter literally of a minute or two hey but the mailman came through that's what happens you get a microburst in massachusetts the postman's still going to show up at your door so coming down walking through this area when i came out right over in that section there right past all these trees and doesn't that tree look like a unit look at that it's dead straight <laughs> it's one girth hey look we know what that looks like uh, that is uh that's the the willy tree so yeah down here we had a lightning strike that literally the bolt came all the way down and held for about three seconds going do, 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 do. so something down there is probably either 
chunked up or on fire. But now you see, you know, it just messes with us right there. We got some openings in the clouds just to say, hey, surprise, we're just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of uh, a lot of fence fixing to do. And it looks like I have a lot of tree branch fixing to do because they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Got a nice big chunk over here. This big gray thing right here, this is what I was putting some, um, uh, what do you call it, mulch on. Man, and that thing just blew all the way down there. That was, that was way up there. You can see the other one all laid out. Wow. Right there, you can see a branch. Big branch is dangling right there. Got a nice big chunk of, chunk of who's a what's it. Look at this guy right here. Look at that. That's a that's a bad day stick right there. That's a you walk under that, you got a bad day. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear a path in the driveway and I'm gonna chuck down the road in my in my uh, jacked up Jeep, my lifted XJ, and uh just roll down the road, see if any neighbors got crushed, see if anybody needs some help, and uh if there's any sticks or trees crossing the road i'll go ahead and just pull them out so people can drive but wow what a crazy crazy display of wind power i mean it just nature nature is amazing man nature is amazing i think i'm getting a i think i'm getting you guys all there you go full of water hold on here we go you can't see me now you see me now you don't oh, i'm starting to fog up there but i see already the guys out there the truck with the little light on flashing he's going around checking things move some of these branches out just so i can have enough room to drive man i'll tell you what i uh i foresee my d-bad old war buoy and my d-bad nepalese gladiator coming out here and uh having some fun and i think i might take my old war buoy with me on my little trip down the road here in case case i need to empty some sticks but holy mackerel man that was crazy so anyway that's what happens when you get a good old new england microburst just a big big blow of wind a microburst a burst of wind comes and goes like that but the wind is so strong anything in its way is just getting messed with you know what i mean so got some work to do this kind of thing about all that land in yucca arizona this kind of thing doesn't happen there, so I am very eager to get out of here. No more of this crap. Hoo-wee. Wow. What a day. All right, guys. So stay tuned because um, tomorrow, which for some of you might be today, whenever you're watching this, I'm going to be bringing you the D-Bad Little Big Man made by the Cougar House. It is awesome. Um, look at this. Look at this. That came out of that tree way back there. Way back there. And it ended up up here. Everything that I just moved right there. Way down. Let's, let's actually. This is. I got to show you this. This is crazy. This branch right here. On my foot. Right. This branch. That I just moved. Off to the side. Because this is how far it reached. This branch. Came from the tree. Behind the house. That is how. A. Big the tree is. And B. How strong that wind was. It blew blew these giant branches this is a no joke branch that is a no joke branch that blew 50 feet man through the air Woo! that's crazy all right guys so let's get ready for the uh for the d-bad little big man i am donnie b all day until next video